Uh, let's try this uh, second phase, di phase change diagram question. So um, this is the phase diagram of carbon dioxide. Um, and it says, for this phase diagram, answer the following question. So the first question says, what phases are present at point C? So I think the easiest way to do these problems is to write out the phases of the graph to begin with, OK? So um, hopefully we could do that this time, right? So uh, what phase is present up here at very high pressures and low temperatures? Solid. Solid, right? So that's probably a good way to look at it, OK? And what phase is present down here at very low temperatures and high pressures? Yes. Gases, right? And then in the middle <coughs> is what? Liquid. Liquid. Okay? So we have that written down to start off. Okay? Um, some things we know about carbon dioxide is at atmospheric pressure, does it, like just from what you know from dry ice, does it go to a liquid phase? No. Uh uh. So we want to keep that in mind, okay? So <coughs> the first question it said, what phases are present at point C? So notice point C is on that uh, phase change boundary line, right? So this is actually the line you get. Does anybody know what equation will give you this line here? It's that equation that we learned in this chapter? The Clausius Clapeyron equation? Okay. If you do that Clausius Clapeyron, it'll give you that. Uh, phase change line there. Okay, that's what it's actually measuring. But what phases are present at point C? Liquid, liquid and, gas. and gas. Okay, it, since it's on the line. If it was up here, it would just be what? Liquid. 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 Okay. So like at, fa at point B, what phases are present? Solid. Just solid. Okay. Okay. So let's um, let's uh, turn our uh, prep our. Um, attention to point B and say if we start at point B and we lowered the pressure to zero pressure what phases would we go through okay so what would we, what would we start at here solid. solid and then when we go down 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 what do we change to gas, gas. gas. do we ever see a liquid phase no. nope so we just go from solid to gas what's that phase change called solid to gas Solid to gas is sublimation, right? Deposition would be the opposite of that, okay? And I'm sure you can understand why, right? Okay, what if we started at point A and increased the temperature? What would we do? What phases would we go through? Solid, Solid. and gas again. So what is that called, phase change? Sublimation. Sublimation, like we just said, right? Solid to gas, OK? What if we started at point C and decreased the temperature? What would we go through? The gas and liquid. Yeah, gas, liquid to solid, right? Like that, OK? Makes sense, right? OK, so now it asks us, well, what is the name of point D there. So point D, uh, all phases are present at point D, so that kind of gives you a clue as to the name. So what is the name of that? Triple point. Very good. So let's write that down so we don't forget it. <coughs> There's one more point it wants, to, um, wants us to identify. It's point E. What is that? point called the critical point. Above that point, what happens? Anybody know? No phases, liquid, gas, or water are present. This is a phase supercritical fluid, okay, that you won't know anything else about except for super critical fluid. Okay. Um, Let's see what else we want to ask. Uh, what is the normal sublimation point of carbon dioxide? So remember, what does that mean? The normal, like if I said, what's the normal boiling point or the normal uh, freezing point? What would that mean? 
the point of freezing at atmospheric pressure. So the normal sublimation point is going to be the point of sublimation at what? Atmospheric pressure, right? So what would be that temperature? Negative 78.5 degrees Celsius. Okay, so that one there. And if I asked you, well, what's the pressure at the triple point? Could you tell me that? 5.1 Yeah, 5.11 ATM there. Okay. And then I guess the one last question we want to ask is can we tell just by looking at this graph whether the solid is more dense or the liquid is more dense? And how will we do that? What part of the graph will we have to look at? Anybody know? So it's this portion here, the solid to liquid phase change line, we have to look at, okay? If this is positive, okay, that means the solid is more dense than the liquid, okay? If it's negative, like waters is, that means the liquid is more dense than the solid. So remember, with water, right, if the ice cubes float on top of the liquid, right? So the solid's less dense. And um, carbon dioxide, it's opposite, okay? So in this case, the solid is more dense than the liquid. So if you had that, both of those in the same, you know, a container, the solid would be on the bottom of the liquid. Any questions about this phase diagram? Okay, wonderful. Good job, guys.